you know, it's it's interesting because at first Tesla, you know, a lot of the Tesla followers are like against Nikola because they're like, oh, hydrogen, it's all fuel cell, you know, like what Elon says. But then they realize that we we offer both battery electric and fuel cell, and they both don't even compete. They're completely separate markets. Right. Battery goes up to 300 miles really well. After 300 miles, hydrogen's the only solution because of weight and cost. So in time, almost all the Tesla fans that have been studying Nikola have become huge Nikola fans. <laughs> And, uh, you know, here's the thing, like, there's a lot of good about what, you know, what Tesla's done in the past to teach people that, uh, that electric vehicles can work. But Nikola is the pioneer in heavy duty trucking and Tesla is just really just following in our footsteps. And a lot of them, you know, a lot of them are, uh, really believe that Elon is like this, this great person that can do anything. And it's when they see someone else being able to actually beat him at what he's doing, they, they hate that. It's so look, we're not getting into the cars. We do, we do trucks. We do, you know, huge semi trucks all the way down to medium duty trucks for business, like the Badger, uh, you know, the stuff. We only focus on markets that actually create revenue in, in any economy. And so I, it is a huge picture. There's no doubt. There's very few people that can out Elon in this world and that, and I'm, I'm one of them. What? I have no problem with him. I think he's a, I think what, you know, what he's done is awesome, but there's uh, it's it's kind of hard when uh, you know for his followers to see someone that can actually build something bigger or or uh, um, or more competitive than what he has. So that's that's why we get a lot of that hate sometimes. Gration. Um, but let's talk finances now, since you are now going to be judged on your ability to continue to grow. You lost eighty nine million dollars last year. You're going to lose money this year. When are you going to start to see real revenues? Okay. At what point would you share with us then uh, what you had, again had told me that you were ready to announce some orders many times bigger than the eight hundred million dollar order with Anheuser Busch? Uh, we're close, and uh, I'll tell you what. As soon as we're ready to to announce it, I'll give you we'll give you a ring so you can uh, we can we can revisit <laughs> that in person again. Again, but it's it's close. It's really close. We're just trying to deal with a lot of logistics around. While Tesla is higher today, Nikola shares are tumbling after a short seller called the company, quote, an intricate fraud built on dozens of lies. Phil LeBeau joins us now with the uh, details. Some fairly harsh words there, Phil. Oh, harsh words, Tyler. And that quote that you read came from Hindenburg Research. This is the report on Nikola. It's fairly hefty. We're not going to go through all of the allegations that they made against uh, Nikola, but it basically comes down to this. They say they, the company has made false statements, it has rigged its truck reveals, and it's had misleading demonstrations, specifically revolving around the hydrogen fuel cell class uh, seven, eight, or class eight semi truck uh, that it, it plans to build over in Europe. And this is the video. Uh, this is one of the key points that they make saying, look, this is really not video of the truck running. They pulled it to the top of the hill. They pushed it down. In response to this report, the chairman of Nikola, Trevor Milton, says, cowards run, leaders stay and fight for integrity. Hindenburg is only making people love us more for trying to destroy us. It will take the rest of the day to address the one-sided false claims, but I will put out a detailed report to address it. In the meantime, troll on. Trevor Milton, the founder of electric truck company Nikola, is voluntarily stepping down as executive chairman and giving up his board seat. This move comes after short seller Hindenburg Research accused Milton of making false statements about Nikola's technology in order to try and grow and secure partnerships with automakers. Both the Justice Department and the SEC are investigating allegations made by Hindenburg. 